and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be carrying on the Shadowbringers main story. And as always, hello from Ifri. So we are here in the Tempest at, at 21,919 and we need to talk to Yishtola. The next quest is called The Light of Inspiration. Yishtola seems eager to share your discoveries with the others. Just realize I'm getting very close to level 80. Uh, thank you for assisting me with my investigations. I shall seek out our companions and share what we have learned. Much as I would like to tell you to sit down and leave the rest to us, your condition demands that we make all reasonable haste. If you are not too wary, it may be useful to speak with uh, Poe's Un again and ask if there's all else he is willing to divulge. Okay. So we can teleport back. Let's do it. So I haven't touched any of the side quests because I wanted to leave them for alt classes. Because I get more than enough experience from the main story on, on your main. That's always been the case in this game. So, ah, Alphano's friend. You and your companions have done much to repair the damage caused when the waters parted. Anything else you can do? Hmm. Have you been to the walls of the Forgotten? I think I've just come from them. Are they the ruins to the northwest? Yes. Uh, that is the sacred site which I speak. Could it be that your footsteps were guided there by the ancients? I believe it may be so. Listen then, and I will tell you of our plans to bring light to the walls, that we might... Um, answer the shining call of the illuminated land. We have requested a finless craftsman to shape for us a sacred lamp. He is odd for a land dweller, choosing as he does to live in the ocean, but his skill is beyond question. It is concerning, however, that we have heard nothing of his progress. If you were to visit this artisan and return with our long-awaited light, then any doubt as to your purpose would be laid to rest. His name is Grenold. You will find his workshop in a metal structure to the south. Interesting. So how far? Okay, we have to go quite far. So once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we've made it to this structure all the way in the south. So let's go in. The store opens. Ooh, spooky. The workbench. So who are we gonna find? Maybe like Sid or something. Oh maybe not. So oh that's just great, that is my mind's playing tricks on me. Look, Renault, someone's come to visit you at the bottom of the bleeding ocean. Or might be as you're a ghost, eh? Go on, foul shade. Feast yourself on me rotten soul. I've got no use for it. A craftsman's what can't craft is more pointless than a sea slug with a domin hammer. But, sorry, and that's an insult to bloody sea slugs. Janot appears to be suffering from a crushing bout of self-doubt. Maybe you can psych him up? Okay, psych. So, uh, you wouldn't be trying to raise me spirits now, would you? Spirit? Not what you'd expect from a servant of the Neverworld. Oh, uh, is this like the other world equivalent of Geralt? Lol, he actually has hair as well. Um, has it really come to this? Have we met before? <laughs> so, Grenold, lol. Um, might be as we have crossed paths back in the Crystarium, but I don't reckon we've been formally introduced. Let me just smash you over the head with a kettle then. Name's Grenold, and this here is meant to be me underwater sanctuary, a place where I can give myself over to me work. 
far from distractions of the outside world. And how do you eat? And yet, here you stand. Now what's so damned important that you dive all the way down to the bottom of the bleeding tempest to bother me? His hair is beautiful. Ah, the Ondo's lamp. Gods curse me empty head. I've not so much as made a start. I'm worth less than a sea slug. Nay, the slime left by a sea slug. Me delivery dates long past. Me workbench is untouched. And I call myself a bleeding artisan. You've heard their beliefs, have you? Bringing light to them ruins will be an act of deep religious and cultural significance. And it was my privilege as a craftsman to be tasked with providing a ritual instrument worthy of the occasion, but I just can't bloody well... God, my mind bleeding blank. Tis like I've pissed away the, the last drop of inspiration. Tell me you've got something to show me. Something as will give me um, muse a right good kick up the arse. The Ondo want to honor the coming of these ancients, so their answering light's got to blaze with the right kind of brightness. Like the spark of life caught in a crystal, but just being sparkly is not enough. It's got to dance with joy and sorrow and a sense of hardship endured. You know what I mean? So I'm going to seek a particular kind of inspiration, the kind that crystallizes only at the culmination of a long and tragic tale. Complete any of the role quest lines available um, at the wandering stairs in the Crystarium, and then return to Grenold once more. Fair enough. So basically, I won't be able to continue this until I finished the level 80 roll tank roll quest. And in order to finish the level 80 tank roll quest, I need to be level 80. So, okay. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to hit level 80, which really should, won't be hard. It's literally one roulette will probably get it for me. And um, then I'm going to do the level 80 tank roll quest. And then I'm going to come back and finish off this episode. So once we're level 80 and we're ready, we will continue. Okay, so we finished the level 80 tank roll quest, which is ironic because it will be the next episode, but whatever. So let's now talk to Grinald. So I've let the Ondo down, I, but more that I've let myself down. Might as well go back to mending kettles. Yep. So show Grenold a crystal which once belonged to one of Ardbert's companions. Uh, what's that you've got there? Such striking beauty. It shines with heartache and laughter and uh, transience of life, like the turmoil of history made manifest. Aye, I can see the brilliance of the crystal's legacy. Ah, uh, you'd never capture such a gleam, not if you laboured a hundred years. But bugger me, if I don't mean to try, uh, wear me tools, God damn ya. I must set to work before the feelings fade. Cool, so that's complete. Right, so the next quest is called The Illuminated Land. And we can choose material. So they're, they're starting to throw grade 7 material at us. Grenold is brimming with newfound inspiration. So I can feel it, a vision forming in me mind. Step aside, lass, and let me itching hands get to work. Okay, so let's see what he's going to come up with. Probably like a mega kettle. And done. I've taken the wonders that crystal showed me and channeled them into a new shape, what befits the Ondo's spiritual character. Oh, wow.
Not a bad job, if I do say so myself. And to think I was this close to hanging up my hammer and uh, after studying the crafting of them agents. How dare you not want to craft. Saying to all of you viewers. So, I've been across the length and breadth of Novarand and gobbled up every scrap of crafting wis wisdom what I could find. But no matter which technique I tried, me work was just no comparison. I couldn't even figure out how they put them damn buildings together. A mystery for the ages. That, that's what drew me here in the first place. I built me workshop, got the forges burning, then lost me bleeding will to craft. I thank the gods for that crystal of yours, so I might never have gotten it back. I won't pry into your business, but I reckon your little miracle there has been through the kind of journey they sing songs about. The echoes of the memory it holds just speaks directly to your heart. I, I can still feel them coursing through me. The inspiration is not fading away, not welling up stronger. Sorry, it's welling up stronger and stronger. Give me the chance and I reckon I can weave the crystals saga into other things as well. But bugger me, I'd almost forgotten the Ondo's commission. If you could drag that lamp over to Tulsa's ah uh, for me, I'll stay here and dream up new armaments for you to try. Yeah, no problem. I, I will take a building on my shoulders. So, you now have access to Grenold's Forge. Equipment rewards will become available for collection based on the role quests you have completed. Oh, okay. I think I read that in the patch notes actually ages ago. Like, um, there is rewards for eventually doing all of them. Oh, wow. So, I can get an entire level 80 set. So, um, well, let's get the entire level 80 gear set then. So they give you basically a level 430 set for free. I did wonder about that, like if you get anything. Anyway, so let's see what the new tank gear looks like. So recommended gear. Uh, boom. Nice. It looks way better than what I had, that's for sure. So, yeah, so you don't have to worry about gear at level 80 initially. Like, they give you gear. So, that's awesome. So obviously when I do my other quests, I'll be sure to get it done. Anyway, so let's teleport back to Ondo Cups. Okay, so... So I've just got my notes in front of me. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, I can't fly in this zone yet. Rip. So I just random jump. So what is what is it that you have there? Okay, so you go Grenold's lamp. The profusion of brightly glowing coral-like branches is most definitely not a kettle. <laughs> so the sacred lamp. Uh, then the finless one has kept his promise. My people tell me of the many deeds you have performed in the name of aiding the cups, and now you come to me bearing the light we had almost surrendered hope of ever seeing. We can doubt your purity no longer. Your arrival has sorry was the will of the ancients. Yes, the time for fear has passed. We shall take the lamp and unveil its austere illumination upon the walls of the forgotten. Gather there with your companions, and we shall speak again once our prayers have been offered. Okay, cool. So we didn't have to travel there. Cutscene. O oh, stewards of the Ondo, we offer up our light in answer. Oh, voice acting, nice. That crystal you showed the artisan. Was it? Did it belong to one of my friends? I might have killed one of your friends. Whoops. Missed that part, did you? 
I thought you were always watching. No, he's not Santa Claus. I tried to give you a measure of privacy. No one wants a spirit looking over their shoulder every moment of the day. But how will you know if I've been good or bad? So tell me, if you would, how did you come across that crystal? I found it in his sack. It was Brandon's then. Yes, it was in Brandon's sack. Strange that I should learn such things now, after they're long gone. They were fine friends, every one of them. Rip. I didn't expect death to teach me so much. About them, about Seto, about you, about the hope that hides at the heart of this world. I've never been one for idle chit chat, but if by some miracle I could see them all again, I doubt I would ever stop talking. I'm grateful I got to bend your ear at least. And just for that, I reckon I'll stick with you to the very end. Apologies, we were a little late to the gathering. No problem, Alpha Nod. I was talking to my invisible friend anyway. I'm it seems we succeeded in gaining their trust. Like a normal person. The delay wasn't exactly welcome, but at least our many hands made light work. And they seemed especially impressed with your contribution. Our hero indeed. Yustola was telling us those structures may date back to the age of the Asians. An Asian homeland. Despite his many protestations, I never quite believed Emmett Selk was telling the truth. Nor I. But there is no denying the evidence before our eyes. Clearly this was once a great city. A home they would see restored, no matter how many tens of thousands of years it takes. It's a hollow dream when you think about it. Even if they manage to rejoin all the worlds, they'll never bring back the ones who were lost. But would I have done any different? Are you... How are you feeling? So she still has light bursting out of her. You have completed your devotions? Yes. To the honored ancients have we offered up our prayers and our gratitude. You too have our thanks. Might we trouble thee then to tell us more of the illuminated land of which thou didst lately speak? To the west of here lies a great trench. Some days ago, a light appeared in that endless darkness. Curious, we ventured closer and discovered in the depths an entire city. The buildings we spied were akin to our own everlasting abodes. Impossibly so. We understood at once the ancients had risen. There could be no doubt. Taken with terror, we retreated to the cups, 
and I decreed that none should enter the trench until such time as we received a sign. Might it still be possible to reach this city of the ancients? Hmm. With no water to drown you, a finless one could now travel there. Yes. I am convinced you are the sign for which we have been waiting. My people will show you the way. Shall we? We shall. Okay, so let's carry on. So the chieftain has bid me guide your steps to the illuminated land. Come the way, sorry, come, the way lies downwards. Follow the path of coral and rock and join your comrades below. Awesome. Okay, so we need to get there. So once we do, we will continue. Okay, so we made it down here. So let's talk to the Ondo guide. So all are gathered, yes. Then I shall describe the path you must take. Enter the cavern beyond and follow the wall down and down and down. Once at the bottom, find a passage to the northwest and then continue west and west and west. The way is not simple. Keep your friends within shouting distance and do not stray into the deep. Just before the journey's end, you will find the Caliban Gap and the barrier we placed at its mouth. This obstacle will fade should you raise a hand towards it. We have made it so. A most succinct explanation. We thank you for your guidance. So, right. Into the depths we go. Awesome. Okay, so we need to go further to find Yuri Onje. So once we get to Yuri Onje, we will continue. Okay, so we made it down here. So let's talk to Yuri Onje. So our guide bade us travel to the cavern floor and thence to the west. It would seem these twisting tunnels defy such simple instruction. Rather than relying on direction alone, I suggest we scout with care and relay the path ahead to those who come behind. That makes sense. So next, we have to go further and find Alpha Node. So once we get to Alpha Node, we will continue. Okay, so we made it even further. So now let's talk to Alpha Node. So Al Mifri, you have a choice of two routes from here. You can either take the long way to the south along the rocks or skip along this coral branch as Elise has done. I for one shall be following my sister's example. <laughs> what? How dare he suggest such a thing. Anyway, so once we get to Elise, we will continue. Okay, so we made it to Elise. So let's talk to her. So there you are. Come on, I think I've found the tunnel we were looking for. Okay. Why would she say that so far away from the tunnel? My dear God. Okay, so once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we made it to her. So let's talk to her again. Okay, cutscene. So here, this must be the barrier the Ondo spoke of. Well, that was a rather more arduous than expected. I feel a sudden rush of gratitude for the smooth roads our ancestors cut through the wilderness. Uh, Twas a treacherous path indeed. Now, I believe one of us needs but raise a hand to banish this next obstacle. Mifri, I elect you to do the honours. Yeah, because 
hand raising is the big effort that the, only the Warrior of Light and Warrior of Darkness can do. Done. So, gone. Just like that, I suppose we should head in. So, like as not, this tunnel will be just as perilous as the road we walked to get here. Let's all stay aware of our surroundings, shall we? Okay. Right. So, we have to go further to that little little point there so once we get there we will continue okay let's go so we're still slowly making our way by the gods what's that what's the lisa scene Ooh, wow big an actual city What is it? Is it Zanakin? When the Ondo spoke of a city, I did not think they meant an actual city. Yeah, I mean, it would tie in with it being almost like Zanakin, given they've been talking about Sinna, 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 Sinna. And, you know, the main boss in Final Fantasy X, Sin. We are seeing the same view. The remnants in the Ondo settlement were solid material structures. But these... Everything here pulses with ether. Tis an enchantment on a monumental scale. Cool. So let's see what's next. Okay, let's talk to Yishtola. So Mifri, did you note the style of the architecture? It is the same used for the remnants of the cups and the mural painted towers. Look closely, Emmett Selk has not simply reclaimed these ruins. He has layered the semblance of an entire city upon them. Gods, the magnitude of this artifice is staggering. Though it pains me to admit, we do not fully understand the feats of which an old world Asian is capable. Okay, so let's take some let's take some skill speed. Right. So I would rather do this quest in the next episode. So I'm gonna end it there. So, if you enjoyed that episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.